Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Brewer Dan, thank you so much. Uh, this is from Mikeller San Diego. So uh, this is Trial by Fire. Uh, curious what the name is, it's a really fun label. It reminds me of that meme with the dog, like everything's fine and like, you know, the whole place is lighting up. Uh, fun label design shape too, right? It's got this like, you know, it doesn't wrap around the whole label uh, or whole can. It's got, again, like the finish on it, simple colors, simple uh, art on that, love it. So. Uh, this is a West Coast IPA 5.9. Um, yeah, right? Yeah, West Coast style IPA. Hey, if you're going to meet Bikeller San Diego, you best be stepping up your game on IPA. I mean, San Diego, West Coast IPA, come on. So this better be absolutely amazing because if not, like, I mean, like, how do you enter a New York market with, like, you know, produce as like a pizza shop with, like, producing poor pizza or, you know, build a chicken place in Nashville, make bad, you know, Nashville fried chicken, right? Like, it's just... You best be stepping up like real good with your uh, product. So let's see. Uh, the beer is actually quite light. West Coast, I mean, I guess it's more modern these days. They're not as dark. Um, well, interesting thing. A lot of people like to ask sometimes, like, you know, an ellipsis. Um, hey, uh, why don't you guys do West Coast IPA? I'm like, A, nobody buys this stuff. And we tried, apparently, before I joined the brewery, uh, people didn't buy it. And then, like, B, like, why worry about that? Issues with the New England IPA is perishability. Uh, it's hard to find large regional producers, large breweries producing inequality. You know, you go to your local place. Some places make great local New England IPA. West Coast IPA, you can find some great stuff. Stone, Torpedo, Sierra Nevada. Just good choices out there. Uh, they're great choices for clear IPA, not easy IPA. So anyway, that's, that's always my answer. It's like, just go to your total wine, go to your local shop. You'll find some delicious IPAs on the shelf as long as they're fresh. Um, people don't go to local breweries to drink West Coast IPA, at least where I am. So let's see how this one is. Um, the beer is pretty light, honestly. It's got a light gold color. Uh, carbonation rising on glass, canned, quite fresh, literally a week. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, very clear though, but also quite light is a noticeable thing. Hmm. I get some of that mosaic kind of like forget what they called it but it's an herbaceous notes it's a little bit tea like yeah a little bit gasoline -y. i get the light kind of, oh what is that there's a little bit of like weed structure in here i almost seem no it's not oxidation it shouldn't be no it's just like a little bit it's not really quite fruity it's just all those weird levels of like leafy greenness that mosaic offers it's herbaceous it's a little bit tea like Really light malt structure and cheers. Yeah, I thought I almost smelled it, but I mean, this was definitely shipped cold throughout. Like it hasn't been hot in um, Florida, but it seems like, or throughout the whole trip, it should be hot, but it's either the hops or something's playing in here. It offers this kind of like base note that's almost papery-ish, but in general, it's quite nice. Um, it's sharp. It's very dry, but not very bitter. It's very drinkable. It's mostly dank, uh, but it's like a light dank. You know, it's maybe not oxidation. It's just the dankness and that weedy character and the herbaceousness. Just maybe throws me towards like really far because it's so dry so it's almost like you know paper dry you're thinking or, or so dry that it's almost like paper like you know i think oxidation but it could just be that dank note this beer is just dry 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 um it's almost dry like a uh, brewed ipa and then it's got a stiff bitterness back on the back like medium yeah this is a tiny beer though, 5.9, like it just drinks so skinny. It, it, yeah, that's what it is. It drinks so skinny, it's almost like brute. It's like 5.9, it's almost like a brute West Coast IPA. It's got a little bit of bitterness behind it, but it's just so dry. I find generally, specifically like even with like stone, there's a little bit more like, some a little bit of like crystal malt and maybe they're trying to make a more modern version of West Coast IPA. But again, it comes almost like brute. Um, yeah, for me, I just want more aromatics. I want something more to grip onto the palate. I want more bitterness. 
I want some of that kind of like balance of crystal malt with that kind of like big bitterness. Um, but a little bit like this, this is like pale as hell, huh? I'd be surprised if there are any like, you know, colored malt in here. It's like, seems like ideally just mostly two row, right? Yeah, it's good. It's drinkable, dry, bitter, but for me, I just want more oomph, you know? Um, honestly, drinks almost like a bitter IPL, like blind. This would, for me would be more like IPL than really IPA, West Coast IPA. Um, you know, I think San Diego West, o West Coast IPA, I think of Sculpin, I think of um, Stone IPA, I, you know, Green Flash IPA back in the day and stuff like that. And it shoot Alpine and all these other beers. The Alpine beers were quite dry, but this is so skinny. This is like, you know, just like a, like IPA light. So again, really for me, drinks more like IPL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite happy, quite nice. Just not too much to say about it. It's all right. Um, been blabbering along for this beer for a while. 84, 84, that is Trial by Fire by McKiller of San Diego. Until next time, guys, cheers. Let me know what you think. Later.